This is out of Marsland, and I'm about to start on what I think is my 12th or 13th search for Lost Hiker, Bill Iwasco. And this is probably going to be my last search, at least for the time being, because there's really not too many places left to look. It's a very puzzling case. Uh, it all hinges around Mr. Iwasco's cell phone pinging a tower three days after he went missing. And there is a radius from the tower at which he must have been at that time. And there are very few places this call could have originated from. Last time I was out here, I confirmed that that hillside behind me is one of the places that it could have come from. No one's really, well, I shouldn't say that. A few people have looked up there, myself, a hiker named Myth, um, and nobody's really found anything, but it hasn't really been closely looked at simply because I'm on a road right now. The theory is if Bill was this close to a road, he would have just stayed on the road. But there's not a lot of cover around here, and in the height of July, probably not a lot of visitation. So it's actually possible, at least to my mind, that he could have arrived at the road and decided it was going to be cooler and easier to be, wait up there for help, since he would have a clear view of this road from up there. Now, about an hour to an hour and a half after the cell phone went off, a ranger came along this way looking for Bill was only here for a very short time. So it's conceivable that Bill could have been up there, saw the ranger coming and going, tried to get down on the rocky slope, and, and something bad happened on the way down. It doesn't appear to me to be that dangerous, but if I wouldn't want to take it in a hurry, if you know what I mean. Uh, besides this area, there are not that many places, there really aren't any places that haven't been looked at pretty extensively and with the latest information suggesting that the uh, cell phone ping was probably pretty accurate, it uh, renders most of the places that have been looked at uh, as most likely. Um, it, it makes it look like it, he couldn't have been there, or at least it was, it was very unlikely. So that leaves us with some weird oddball places like the one I'm looking in today. I don't think it's very likely that Bill is there, but I do think it's about the least unlikely remaining spot. So uh, before I let go of this whole thing, I, I think I need to look up there. I don't anticipate a very difficult day of hiking, but it will require a little care. And uh, if I see anything, I will be sure to take a, a film of it. Hey, here I am in uh, grizzled old prospector mode. Uh, I'm up above uh, Upper Covington Flat right now, and as you can see, the terrain, it's pretty. Uh, it's not too difficult to traverse. Nothing really to report, except I have seen a few hints that there might be some cell reception down here, which would be interesting, although I haven't, you know, gotten a call in or out or anything like that. Just giving you a quick view of the surroundings here and uh, we'll continue upward. Really nice uh, view here of the northern part of Upper Covington Flat. It's really pretty country. Okay, I'm just about at the 10.6 line. And as you can see, there's the height of land from which, if everything's working just right, you can get a text. And this is about the worst way down you could take if you were right below it. The, the hillside isn't too bad in other spots, but kind of nasty here. So, yeah, if somebody was trying to get down in a hurry, they'd probably get in trouble. I haven't seen any sign of anything like that. Uh, there have been a few places where it looked like there might be cell reception. I wasn't able to get anything out, but... This whole area is a, is a feasible place for a, a transitory ping to have happened. And, you know, it's a height of land, it's a 10.6 miles. And if it weren't for that pesky road right down there, I would say it's a, a pretty good candidate for where Bill might have been. I'll keep looking though, that's what I'm here for. 
I'm sure you can't see it, but to, in the center of the frame, just above the, uh, the uh, right there, there is a tree, and on top of it is a very cool looking bird. From this side, he appears to be all white and about 11 or 12 inches high. It looks like the back is black. I don't know what he is, but it's very cool. Right on top of that tree right there. Okay, I've had it down now from up here, and I think I've come across are these two antlers, which are, that must have been some fight, huh? <laughs> you do see a lot of that out here, but I don't remember ever seeing two like this before, so that's kind of cool. Well, I'm almost out of daylight, and I'm now at the uh, very northern end of the little mountain range that runs between Upper and Lower Covington Trailheads. It's really pretty, and uh, I haven't seen any sign of anything other than quite a few wild animals and, and some pretty big uh, mountain lion tracks a little further south of where I am now. I'm running out of daylight, as I think I said, so I'm going to go just a little bit further and then head back to the car. This is pretty slick. <laughs> And this ends another uh, search for Bill, another unsuccessful one. I'm out of ideas at this point. Uh, I mean, he could still be around here. There's plenty of places I didn't look, but, uh, you know, I think I gave it a pretty good shot. It's very mysterious, and uh, I'll be writing it up along with all my final, for now, thoughts on this mystery when I get home. But right now, I'm ready for some food, and... Uh, the drive home. Thanks for watching.